We are at Motor Park Romania and we bought with us two of the coolest and most wanted superbikes of the moment. We have the GSXR 1000R and the BMW S1000RR. And I have with me a friend, Christy, that's helping me to test them. Hi everybody, these are one of the best super bikes out at the moment. Very nice, we just had some laps and some fun with the bikes and I think we can do a thorough review about them right about now. These are full spec versions of each model. We have the GSX-R R version that comes with Shoah BFF, balance free forks, uh, a superior uh, electronics package and the BMW S1000RR that is full with uh, all the electronics you ever wanted and also it comes with light wheels. Both bikes have an inline 4 power plant and almost 200 horsepower. How did you feel them today? I think uh, both have pros and cons. I think uh, the VVTI uh, very well bike timing on the GSX-R was very nice. But I think also the peak power of the S1000RR is quite impressive and it's hard to catch up. Yeah, I've spotted the VVT, it's working. It has a, a different sound, I think. I don't know if for sure it's the, it's the VVT that's making that noise. But uh, when you pull the gas and you rev it up to over 10,000 RPM, it starts banging boom, and goes like it's insane. Nice. And I also have to say the exhaust note is very, very nice. Uh, it was lovely to rev it on the track. On the other hand, we have the BMW, and uh, I must say we had it like 2009. It was first born, and uh, it's, in my opinion, better than every kind of any kind of uh, engine displacement that I've ever ridden. It's almost perfect, but I'm saying almost because uh, I think it can go even better than this. As a minimal, I would say that the GSXR feels very good but i think it still needs some work to catch up with the bmw yeah yeah Bikes uh, very wide with a white frame. This is very small. I, I was amazed by the dimensions of the frame. It's quite surprising because I think it's uh, it's very lightweight and it's also very rigid in the same sense. Uh, with Japanese bikes, let's say for older Honda models, you get the flex from the from the frame when you ride it hard. In this bike, I didn't feel any flex. Uh, but it's still very very light, it's very flickable from side to side and I think that is a little bit edgier than the BMW in terms of maneuverability. Yeah, I, I have to admit that the, the GSX-R is uh, more agile in my opinion than the BMW. It, you can switch it from a, from a leg to another very fast, it's fast steering and uh, the frame I can say I, it feels great, it feels almost like a 600. Brakes are absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, these brakes are, are, are very good. I, I love them because they have a, a lot of bite. Uh, the, the lever it has a, a lot of uh, consistency and you get it every time you want it. So the brakes on the BMW, I think they are a bit better than the Suzuki. This bike doesn't have a, let's say, a race ABS setting. Maybe yeah, I don't that. know if it that does that matter or not, 
This one does, but the brakes on the BMW were exceptional. The brakes on the Suzuki are not that bad, but uh, I think with a minimal change, uh, let's say only hoses and uh, brake pads, you, you can get some more consistency yeah, from sure. them. I'm sure, I'm sure. In the help of the braking comes the suspension, and uh, it compensates a lot the show off, big uh, balance reforms, it compensates a lot with a, with a bike. Uh, handling and the braking power and acceleration. I tried the first at first the BMW on this track and uh, I felt like 40 bumps. When I switched to the Suzuki, they were at maximum 10. So this suspension is the maximum you can get uh, from a stock bike. I think it's the best. You have the compensators which are uh, working quite well. You don't get the the, the fade, let's say, from the suspension because of the weight heating up yes. after many, many laps. And the package is actually working very well with the, with the freight and the... It's an assembly that, that, that yeah. works very good on track. Yeah, you, don't, you do, usually didn't get that with Japanese bikes. There was always something you needed to change if you felt the, um, let's say, the, the frame was very good, but then the brakes were not that good, and then the engine didn't have the peak power, but now, now it's... it's now it's Very a balance. Good. I would say it's a it's a good balanced bike yeah. with the suspension and the frame. The suspension on the BMW it's electronically adjustable, and um, I don't feel it like very useful on track. I think this is the first you should change when you want to hit the track. Although when you ride on the streets or the road, it's brilliant. For me, it's working just perfect. Let's talk about the. Electronics, because both have the Evo 6 axis Evo, they have traction control, and yes, uh, the traction control is switchable on the Suzuki. Uh, on the BMW, you can switch also the ABS, it's switchable on the go. Uh, what else? The dash, the dash is changing yeah. the Suzuki, and it's looking just brilliant. I love the way it looks. It's a full LCD dash that has everything you need over there. Well, I think it's Nicer looking this this yeah. LCD display. Yeah, because. hopefully BMW will change it uh, sometime sooner because we had enough of this dash already. The analog and the digital combined dash. What about the blipper? We had some minor issues with the Suzuki. I think because the bike is new or something, the engine is uh, it's just out of the box. But I think the electronics on the BMW. In particular, the, the bleeper and the quick shifter are just more refined and they work better on the BMW. Yeah, it's um, also maybe just also quite about a, a little bit of feeling. I like the idea when you shift, okay, the quick shifter it gives you a bit of a punch because uh, I don't know, it makes it more uh, humane. <laughs> yes, even though it's uh, it's a bike. Uh, but of course, yeah, the, the shifter works uh, seamlessly on the BMW. And also the blipper. Yeah. I had some problems with, with the Suzuki when I was uh, shifting back uh, on the straight. I didn't got uh, the blip for one of the gears and I was a bit scared. I thought something was broken, but it's, it's okay. It might have been an error for me. I didn't push it at the maximum. Point. Yeah, maybe you have to. Okay, we Get just get used to it. Yeah. So another thing, I think the Suzuki, the front brake. I felt the intervention of the ABS on the, on the end of the straight. Did you feel it? Uh, I felt it a little bit with the ABS. Um, I'm not that much of an ABS fan on the track. On the street, I think it's one of the best, so let's say, inventions. Yes. Even for motorbikes. But on the track, I feel it, I'm working against it a little bit. So, yeah, it's more intrusive than on the BMW. Let's, let's say that. Uh, it's pretty easy to work with the bike. The buttons are very easy to reach. You have everything you need over there. You can uh, exit and enter the menu only on the left hand about. Uh, also, the BMW it's uh, very easy to reach. So at this point, both bikes. Yeah, the ergonomics are package. Yeah. The ergonomics package is quite good on both bikes. I think we should also talk a little bit of the build quality because I like the paint very much on the JSX. Sorry, it feels quite uh, more premium than yeah, it used to be. Yeah, it seems. It, it seems for my eye, it seems flawless, but. Uh, besides the paint, I dislike some features that Suzuki added in this bike, like the water pump uh, and uh, 
bits over there, over here, mm -hmm. some plastics, seems a bit cheap, but it's my opinion only. Corner entry is very good on the bike because you feel it light, you can point it in the right direction, it doesn't have to make that much flex, as I'm saying. I'm not saying that BMW has that, it's also very flickable, but you have a lot of uh, advantages with the, let's say, low mass. Right? Yes, and um, of course it's not as refined as the BMW. I found, I found some issues with the Suzuki. I, I found it uh, very hard to accelerate when you're down. Uh, I think it has a bit of a lag at some point. In, Second or third gear, when you're opening, reopening the throttle, it, it thinks a bit, and then it, it gives you the power. Mm -hmm. For the BMW, you pay like 21,000 euros, so there's a big difference between them. Yeah, there's a big difference. Probably a lot of guys, a lot of racing guys, will argue that you, with the difference in money, you can pay on, uh, let's say, on racing aftermarket parts. Ah, uh, okay, that's a different thing. On the street, of course, you feel the difference because you have the cruise control, you have the heated grips, which are very nice options. I agree with you for the for the street user, for the guy that uh, rides this bike only for the pleasure of riding in the city and outside. Uh, I think the BMW is still the benchmark and uh, they should buy it. But on the other hand, if you want to take a cheaper version of a super bike that has everything on it, you should go for the Suzuki. The yeah. R model has everything that you need even for track use and for CD use. Yeah, it's, it's just brilliant. It's, it's definitely a more affordable bike. It's a more affordable package. I think uh, I'm just asking myself what would lightweight wheels be on the new G6R. <laughs> With minor changes, I, I think you can, you can bring it to, to, to the performance of the BMW. Yeah. Very easy, yes. Which of this bike you find more beautiful, more slim and fit looking uh, okay the, this is a very subjective matter of yes course. looks personal matter yeah it's a it's personal so matter uh, i was never a real fan of let's say uh, the s 1000 rr uh, styling i get it with the asymmetrical look and it's, okay it's nice and also uh, let's say bad also in the same sense what's the final decision which bike would you buy uh, for me i I think I would buy the buy the G6R 1000R because I think with a lot a bit of tweaks I can make it a really really nice bike. Uh, it's also the the new factor. It's a new bike. It's right up there. So, so but Suzuki is back in business with this bike. Yeah. But if you give me the S 1000R BMW, I wouldn't mind at all. So I ride it right there, right there, right there. Yes. back home. So <laughs> I already own one of these bikes. So. I must stick with it. You must stick with it, so... <laughs> so let's go right for another two or three hours, okay? Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you for the last, thank you very much.